All right, guys, this is Martin Rooney from Training for Warriors here today. We've got Frank Yeager, Dan Miller, both coming off uh, multiple wins at the UFC. Uh, Ranky fighting in a handful of weeks right now. We're getting a, another uh, metabolic circuit in right here. Uh, kind of a, a change on the hurricane a little bit, so instead of the treadmill, we're moving to this. We're going to start off with the rope, which you're going to see some really amazing exercise, really strong uh, you know, demands on the body. We've got then to the power sled. We're going to then go to the hammers then to the tire, then to a running exercise. So we kind of go upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body. Five minutes long, we're gonna rest a minute, and then we're gonna go three rounds. We'll show you one round right here. Ready, guys? And go. So right here, what they're doing, guys, very, very ex tough exercise called battling ropes, where right now, they're gonna work 15 repetitions of each exercise. So right now, they're going alternating arms, and you can see the big, big ropes that are used on giant shifts right here working the snap down the shoulders the abs the low back but most importantly the heart is busting out of your chest we're at 25 seconds 25 seconds guys now they're going big circles you can see this one they're going big circles opening up the ropes opening up the ropes really working the rotator cuff really working the shoulders everything's burning now side to side just pulling twisting with the core twisting with the core working the legs working the arms you can see you can't imagine the tremendous amount 15 seconds left 15 seconds left then they go right back to the beginning again and work through and try to get as many reps 10 seconds five four three two one time into the sled Ready, go. So Frank Yeager now going into the sled. We're going 15 yards with the sled. It's really, really difficult. High coefficient of friction right now on this sled because of the new turf that we have here at the Parisi Speed School. You can see Dan blasting back. So there's never really an element of rest. It's kind of like an explosion. You get a little second of rest as you're jogging back down there. Then you explode back in. Now we're hitting the glutes, the quads, the calves, the hamstrings for what these guys are famous for. Driving that opponent into the cage, getting that big takedown. That's where a lot of this comes from. And guys, I recommend everybody try this one out at home. You're gonna see just how demanding it is. Right back, right back, right back. We're 37 seconds in, 37 seconds, 20 seconds. Drive, Frank. So on this one, now again, the heart is just busting out of the chest. You're really working, then you get that bout of recovery, again, learning to control yourselves. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Looks like Frankie's gonna get the extra rep on this one. Or here, what we'll do, Frank, you take it down, Dan, bring it back, then we'll go to the next round. So we're gonna go a few seconds over, but I wanna make sure that each guy gets the equal amount. Drive it out, Dan. Drive, 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 drive. And time, that was a minute 10. Now we're going to hammers. Now, for a little power endurance right here. Now, not only delivering force, hammering down. Ready, and go. So now we're working the core the abs, the shoulders, the lats. Everything is working here for now, being able to deliver power over and over again, getting the body moving, delivering force. This is actually toughening up and tempering the connective tissue of the body, strengthening the bones, the ligaments, the tendons, as again, we're getting the heart rate through the roof. 25 seconds in, guys, 25 seconds. And you can see, in a UFC fight, you gotta be able to deliver force for a long time. That's the magic difference with these athletes. You've gotta be incredibly strong, incredibly fast, but you've gotta be able to do it for a long period of time. For all that you know, 15 minutes, or if you're in a championship fight, which is the ultimate goal, possibly 25. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Keep hammering, keep hammering. Five, four, three, Two, and one, time. Right to the tire, right to the tire. Now, the full body exercise, the tire. This is the one now. The athletes are fatigued, and when you're fatigued, you gotta still be able to get that takedown. Ready, and go. You gotta still be able to get that takedown, and then drive the opponent over. So flip it, and then it's also the push at the end to really push that thing and see who can push it the furthest. One of the games we play here, as you can see, Frankie is driving that tire over. Dan's gotta drive it back and make sure to see who crosses the line. Where does that tire finish? 20 seconds in, guys, 20 seconds in. Drive it over, drive it over. 
This is where you gotta dig deep. This is when in the Warrior, when you're in that second round, which is a magical round where a lot of things happen, or into the third round where you're starting to get your win back and you get that final takedown, the takedown that might make a decision or change the course of an entire fight. Drive it over hard, drive it over hard. We're at 40 seconds, guys, 40 seconds. 20 to go, drive, drive, drive. Pick it up, drive and drive it over, Frank, drive it over. Come on, Dan, keep going. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Flip and drive, flip and drive. So everybody at home, you know, a lot of people, if you don't have a tire, go out and find one. People are getting rid of them all the time. Three, two, one, and time. Last set, last set. Now, they go into the tandem toe, which we have on our Training for Warriors site really soon, the tandem toe, a nylon thing. It's not, it's not stretching, there's no elasticity. So you take up the slack, and now we're gonna do high knees forward. Ready, go. So he's going high knees, high knees, high knees. But more importantly, the eccentric that's happened to Frankie right here. Frankie's got to work too. Now Dan's got to work to slow Frankie down. Frankie's driving, 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 driving. But you can see Dan using the strength of his legs to hold him back. Now, turn him backwards. And now he's going to backpedal. Again, using those quads, using those, the, the forward toe flex, you know, uh, dorsiflexors of the ankle, the anterior tibialis, the muscles that you don't realize hold the guard together, help you finish that triangle. All of these muscles are working right here. Drive, Frank, drive. We're 30 seconds in, halfway there, halfway there. Now he's going back to high knees, back to high knees, back to high knees, driving, driving, driving as Frankie holds him back. It's torturous, guys. 20 seconds left, 20 seconds left. And remember, this is a five minute round. Five minute round, they get one minute rest, and then we go two more of them right in a row. Simulates the energy demands of the fight, you know, keeps the guys in shape, but at the same time, they're not getting beat up. Three, two, one and time. So right there guys, another view into the training of what these guys do every day. You know, so like I've always said, hey, whether you want to be a fighter or whether you want to get punched in the mouth or not, this is the type of training you can do every day. We'll keep bringing you more from trainingforwarriors.com.